particularly when you mix it with other drugs, and it's causing deaths. North Carolina Attorney General Roy Cooper spoke Tuesday morning at the North Carolina Sheriff's Association spring meeting at Riceville Beach. The meeting is a training program for county sheriffs. There, Cooper spoke about efforts to stop the illegal use of prescription drugs, the most commonly abused drug by young people other than marijuana. Many people don't realize that prescription drugs are the most abused drug for young people other than marijuana. It outranks the cocaine, the heroin, everything in that category. And what's disturbing is that two-thirds of young people get these drugs either from their own home or friends who get it from a home. One of the things we want to increase the use of is the prescription drug monitoring program to help get these doctor shoppers who are out there going from doctor to doctor getting prescriptions. The next thing we want to do is to hopefully institute some permanent drop-off places for people's excess prescription medicines. It's important for people to get them out of their home when they're no longer using them so that they can't be stolen and abused or sold by someone. Also discussed at the meeting were Internet sex crimes, including child pornography. To stop child pornographers, they are asking for the Internet service providers to help, in addition to going after the culprit specifically. Cooper also said he is proposing to increase the state's DNA database by taking samples from anyone arrested on felony charges. Right now, it is limited to convictions. In North Carolina right now, when you commit a felony, you put your DNA in a database. We want to take the DNA from people who have been arrested for a felony. This is important because it gets this information into the database sooner. If the person is later acquitted or the charges are dropped, then there's a procedure to have the DNA removed from the database. That will be in our proposal that will go to the General Assembly. We think it's important because getting this information to law enforcement sooner can help us solve crimes and hopefully take murderers and rapists off the street early. Back in 2001, a lot of rape kits were sitting on local law enforcement shelves. Many states still have that problem. We don't in North Carolina because we push. We now have over 40 agents doing DNA. We've cleared out all of those rape kits. We are putting murderers and rapists in jail. We're going to continue to use DNA not only to convict the guilty, but to exonerate the innocent. Cooper also described Badges for Baseball, a program designed to pair officers with kids and prevent crime before it becomes an option. It's important for kids to understand that law enforcement are good people. We think that we can keep kids out of trouble, keep them from joining gangs if we give them something positive to do. Law enforcement officers, in turn, learn about the lives of kids and become better officers. We want to encourage law enforcement across the state to volunteer for this program and join Badges for Baseball. Just take a little bit of time every week to help mentor a kid. Perhaps we can prevent a future criminal and make that life of that child better. But I've talked to these officers, and these officers are telling me that they're making a difference in these kids' lives.